Hello everyone, this is Hassan from Mouthful Economics. In this video, we will talk about straight lines. There are two types of straight lines. One, constant function. And two, linear function. For example, y equal to 10. This is a constant function. Why? Because whatever value you put for x, y will always be equal to 10. Now how to draw this function on a graph? To draw this, we need a four quadrant diagram. We have arrows here, x, o, x prime, y, o, y prime. Now this is a four quadrant diagram. Here y is always equal to 10. That means if x is equal to 0, say so this is 10, y is equal to 10, if x is equal to 1, y equal to 10, if x is equal to 2, y equal to 10. So, this will be a straight line, it will go to point 10. Here, x is equal to 1, or if x is equal to 2, or x is equal to minus 1, 1, 2, or minus 1, the value of y is always equal to 10. So, this is y equal to 10. Similarly, if we have uh, x is equal to 8, how to draw this? Again, we need a four quadrant diagram. So this is the y axis or vertical axis. This is the x axis or horizontal axis. We have x o x prime and y o y prime. Now here, for this x is equal to eight function. I say this is x which is equal to 8 we will have a straight line which will go to the point A here if y is equal to 1 x is equal to 8 if y is equal to 2 x is equal to 8 or if y is equal to minus 2 x is again equal to 8 so we can write this constant function x is equal to 8. Now we'll talk about linear function. Okay. To do that, let us fill up some space. Say say y equal to 5 plus twice x. How to graph this function? There are several ways to graph this linear function. Now why this is linear? To refresh your memory. If x increases by 1 unit, y always increases by 2 units. And whatever value you put for x, for 1 increase in x, y will increase by 2 units. That is why this is a linear function. Okay? Now, for this, let us have a table. So here we have the values of x, and here we have the corresponding values of y. If x is equal to 0, y equal to 5, always find out the value of y when x is equal to 0. If x is equal to 10, y equal to 25. Now let us draw it. Say again, this is the y axis, this is the x axis, this x, this is o, this is x prime, this is y, o, and y prime. So here, if x is equal to 0, y is equal to 
so this is 5 and here we have 10 we have 15 we have 20 and so here we have 25 so for the first point the text is equal to 0 y equal to 5 this point here and for the second point if x is equal to 10 so this is x equal to 5 and this is x equal to 10 if x is equal to 10 y equal to 25 so this point will be here somewhere to find out the point let us draw a horizontal line from 25 and a vertical line from 10 so this point so this, this is the first point where x is 0 y is 5 and this is the second point where x is 10 y is 25 just draw a straight line from this point to this point so this straight line so you can extend this line from here to here or from here to here so this is the line y is equal to 5 plus twice x so this line is the linear function you can follow another technique which is known as intercept method so what is the intercept method formula for intercept method is x by a plus y by b equal to 1 here what is a a is uh, x exceeds intercept and what is d d is y exists intercept here a can be both greater than 0 and less than 0 and b also can be greater than 0 or less than 0 take this line at first we can write it again y equal to 5 plus twice x it can be written as y minus twice x is equal to 5 or minus twice x plus y is equal to 5 or minus twice x divided by 5 plus y by 5 equal to 1 this can be written as x divided by minus 5 by 2 plus y by 5 equal to 1 here a is equal to minus 5 by 2 or minus 2.5 and b is equal to 5 now how to draw this function let us have the four quadrant diagram first here we have arrow and here we have arrow y o y prime x axis intercept or a or horizontal axis intercept is minus 2.5 and vertical axis intercept is 5 is 5 here so if you join these two points this point with this point and if you extend the line you get the function y is equal to 5 plus twice x. Let us check it here. Say if x is equal to 0, y is equal to 5. Here, if you have x is equal to minus 2.5, the value of y will be y equal to 5 plus 2 into minus 2.5. That means 5 minus 5 equal to 0. So y will be equal to what? 0. So this point here, here this is known as again x axis intercept 
and this phi here is known as b or y is this interstate. We can have some examples, say y is equal to 10 minus x. So this will be what? You can write x plus y equal to 10 x by 10 plus y by 10 equal to 1 so here a is equal to 10 and b is also equal to 10 if you want to draw this let's have horizontal axis and vertical axis here we have x o x prime y o y prime here horizontal intercept is 10 and vertical intercept is also 10 if we join this point with this point and extend the line we have a linear function which is y equal to 10 minus x we can have another example say we have uh, 25x plus 50y is equal to 100 if you want to follow this rule here you have to write 50y is equal to 100 minus 25x or y equal to 2 minus half of x then you find out two values pass for x equal to 0 you find out value of y then for any value of x you find out value of y then you draw the straight line but if you follow but if you follow this method you can just do 25x plus 50y equal to 100 then 25x divided by 100 plus 50y divided by 100 equal to 1 or you can say x by 4 plus y by 2 equal to 1 then you can just draw you have the horizontal axis and you have the vertical axis you have arrows and x x prime y o y prime here the x axis intercept is 4 and the y axis intercept is 2 draw a straight line from this point to this point you get the linear function 25x plus 50y equal to 100. Let us have a cleaner slit. For one kind of linear function, we can't use this intercept method, okay? Let us call it intercept method. As I was saying, y equal to 5x. Now, if you want to follow this formula, you have to write y minus 5x equal to 0. But now what? Why we can't use the intercept method? Because there is no intercept. Here x and y. x is equal to 0. y is also equal to 0. x equal to 2. y equal to 10. Now we have our axis. y axis. x axis x o x prime y o y prime 
this is the first point 0 0 and if x is equal to 2 say y will be equal to 10 this point which is x equal to 2 y equal to 10 now to join this point we get a straight line which is y equal to 5x here we see that is for this line it goes through the origin or O so there is no horizontal intercept or x axis intercept and vertical intercept or y axis intercept that is why for this kind of function where y is equal to say capital A x we can't draw using this intercept method well this is all for now don't forget to practice there is one disclaimer though not a native English speaker therefore following my grammar and pronunciation is subject to tremendous risk anyway if you are new to this channel don't forget to like share and subscribe want to learn more follow the link in the description below bye bye